back to my channel. I have not been to a convention since COVID started and I finally got to go to one. And if you haven't guessed already, this is a con haul video. And I'm literally so excited to do this. As always, when going to conventions, I usually love going to the artist alley and getting stuff from there the most because I just feel like there's so much more creative stuff you can get there. Um, I did get some stuff from the dealer sh haul, but it's like three things and they're not really, I don't, I wouldn't really consider them anime related, I don't think, but um, we'll start with the artist alley stuff and then get to the dealer haul stuff. I bought like so much stuff from this one person, <laughs> I'm now realizing, but I absolutely loved her table and what she sold and I wanted to get even more stuff from there but like I had to kind of hold back um, but I will put the artist names of all the stuff that I'm showing in the description or maybe on the screen I'm not quite sure how I'm going to do this if I don't name one of the artists it's just that I either don't have their card or I completely forgot who it was so if you do recognize any of these artists please let me know and then I will add it to the list that I um, put in somewhere in the video or description. So without further ado, please make sure you like and subscribe and let's get started and see what I got. These make me so happy, oh my God. Okay, so first up we have these enamel pins from Cardcaptor Sakura of Spinal. And I hope, I hope the camera picks it up well just because it's gold enamel, but I have one of Spinel and we have one of Keto-chan. And oh my god, what I love about these are the little star designs all over them. I don't know if you can see that, like on Keto's um, tail, you can see it pretty well. So cute. Same with Spinel. I think you could probably see it better with Spinel because he's black. But I oh, so cute. I absolutely love these twos dynamic together and I fell in love when I saw them. They also came with a cute pouch that kind of matches the design of the enamel pin and yeah I got these on like it was like in a basket where they were like B grade or lower grade enamel pins but I don't see anything wrong with these so I don't know they seem pretty A grade to me <laughs> but anyways I have those that's so freaking cute and then I bought this charm from a different table of our girl Marine she's so freaking cute uh, it's double-sided and then each side has a different um, image or a different reaction or whatever and then she has I think her name was Shizuku I'm pretty sure um, right over there She's so freaking cute. I love Madian so much. I love this art style so much too. They had other characters I really loved, but I kind of just settled for this one. Um, one thing I love about these charms I want to mention is the key rings over here. I love the shaped key rings. This one's a heart. I have another one that I got, other charms that I got from a different artist that have different shapes and everything. And then this one's in rose gold which really matches her, so I, I love that so much. So there's that. Also, I know in my previous Dust and Discuss, I mentioned that I wanted to order her Nindroid. Thankfully, she was still in stock and I got to order it. Um, I am just trying to figure out how I'm going to get that 1 7 scale of her by Annie Plex. I know Right Stuff has it in stock right now, but it is way too expensive. I feel like Right Stuff, Right Stuff overprices their figures, I feel like, and I don't know if it's kind of their fault or the deal they make with Aniplex. I don't know why, but it was just way too expensive. I think like after shipping, it comes out to like $207 for me. I'm like, no, we are not doing that. For that basic of a figure, there's no way, um, but yeah. So I have to find a different way. Hopefully Ami Ami puts her up and I can get her from there because Ami Ami is usually cheaper in that sense and I have points that I can use with them. But anyways, that's that's a whole different story. I got this Madin charm. Um, next up, next up I got 
more enamel pins, but these ones are a little different. And when I saw them, I literally fell in love. First one is from Spy Family, and it is this Anya pin in the middle, and she spins, and on the sides over here, there's your, um, there's Lloyd, and then her plushie, and I forgot what the dog's name is, but it's her dog. And I think that's super adorable. I love this so much, and they're pretty big too. And I love the rose gold plating as well. With that, I got a Sailor Moon one with all the Sailor Scouts. So there is Venus, Mercury, Mars, and Jupiter. And then of course, Usagi or Sailor Moon. Oh my goodness. And of course, more rose gold plating, which I absolutely love. She's so freaking cute. They had another one like this. I think it was of, I wanna say it was of Genshin Impact, but I'm not, 100% sure but they only had three of these so it was uh, Spy Family, Sailor Moon, and then Genshin I think and I got two out of the three because I do not play Genshin Impact and as much as I want to because there are characters that I think are so fine <laughs> um, I know that if I start playing that game I'm going to lose all my money um, so I am holding back on that and just enjoying it from afar. <laughs> All right, so next booth I bought from is the booth that I bought the most from and I couldn't help myself. And I literally love everything I bought and I wanted to buy so much more from their booth. But again, I had to hold myself back. And Lord, okay, so first thing is this <laughs> sun catcher of Tanaka and Nishinoya from Haikyuu. And if you don't know what a sun catcher is, it's kind of like a window decal. I think you could put it like in your room window or I think you can even put it on like a car window. And when the sun shines on it, it makes this iridescent or like a rainbow effect. You can kind of see it, the little crystals, if I move the camera a little bit, hopefully. Um, but I love this screen cap from the series it's literally one of my favorites that i always think about it's so funny and i'm so happy i got this one they had like a couple other um characters from different series i think uh i can't really remember who of who and from where but i saw this one i was like yep yeah, just i'll take it so there's that uh, and then I got these charms from them, and I think they are so freaking neat. Um, they are like anime food packaging kind of themed, so I'll show you. First one I got was of Hanako-kun, and this one is by JYK Doodles because the actual packaging has their artist name, so if you want to know where I got these next few things and the sun catcher from, it's from this artist right here, JYK Doodles. Okay, so the first one I got was of Hanako, and it's Hanako's Donuts, because that's Hanako's favorite thing to eat is donuts. And this is where I'm talking about the key ring. This one is a star, and I love that. It's so cute, and it's gold. Uh, and it is double-sided. It's got like, I think the color theme of Dunkin' Donuts right over here. I think it's so cute, you guys. I fell in love and they're pretty big too, so that's a plus. And oh, and there's like glitter. I don't think the camera's gonna pick that up, but they're kind of glittery. Not too much glitter, which is good, but just, just enough to give it a little something. So cute. And then it also came with like a mini sticker, which is adorable. I don't know where I'm going to put this. I'll probably never use it because I love it so much. So <laughs> there's that. Um, the next one I got is from Given. And you know, now that I'm looking at it, I kind of wish they had, I don't know if they had a Sasaki Tomiyano one, but I feel like this one would have fit Sasaki Tomiyano so much more but i absolutely love this one that's why i got it uh, but it is a given and it is a pocky themed one with ue no yama and mafuyu and look how freaking 
freaking adorable, you guys. He's so cute. And again, double-sided. I love, I feel like these can go on like car keys or something. I think it's so cute. I love it. The thing is, I love these charms, but I just don't want to take them out of the house because I'm so scared they're going to get ruined. But I, I love putting them on like bags or something or like keys. I don't know. Um, this one also came with a sticker over here. Oh, I don't think that's even going to show, but yeah. Came with a sticker and I love it so much. Oh, I kind of want a Sasaki Domiano one. I really don't remember if they had it. I don't I don't think they did. But anyways, last charm I got from them was actually from the display. Um, it was the last one. So I'm so happy that I got it before it sold out. And um, I didn't mind that it was from the display or anything because it was in perfect condition. But it is of my boy, Oikawa, and it is milk bread. And I love him so much. I hope he gets literally infinite milk bread. All the milk bread he wants. He is so freaking cute. I love him. I love this charm. It's adorable. And it just says milk, Oikawa's milk bread on there if you can't read it. But, ah, he's so cute. I love this little silly pose he does with his tongue sticking out. I, I love him. I literally love Oikawa so much. Last three things I got from this artist. This is what <laughs> I initially was just going to buy and then I saw the other stuff and I bought it. But they had so many of these and it was so hard to choose from and I wanted to buy all of them or at least the majority of them and I just couldn't pick but I even like bought stuff, left, and it kept lingering on my mind and then I went back and bought some more. But they are these sticky notes. I have two of the this Gojo one. And the reason I have two of these Gojos is A, I mean it's Gojo, and this scene is so iconic. And um, one of them is just like a regular note, sticky note pad. And then the other one is like a checklist kind of, which I wanted as well. And I just love that it says, finish today or I'll murder you. I mean, come on, y'all. I couldn't resist. So I got those two. I got this Anya Spy Family Notes Family notepad with her sneaky little face, iconic face of Anya. I love it so much. And it just says, hey, 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 like she's laughing. I love this so much. Oh my God. Okay. And then this is one of my favorite ones. I have a Hanako-kun one. I kind of wish I got a second one because I'm so scared to use this now, but hopefully they have like an Etsy or something. I didn't even check. Uh, but I, I have this Hanako one and it's so freaking cute, y'all. And then there's Nene as a fish. Oh my God, she's so cute. I love the pose. I love the colors. I love the design of this whole thing. Oh, it's so, it's so good. Um, the only problem is I write so big, so I don't know how much I'm gonna be able to fit on here, but that's not really why I bought it. I bought it because it was cute and I love the design. So that is all from one artist. The sun catchers, the charms, and then these. I'm telling y'all, I could not resist. Uh, hopefully they have an Etsy shop so I can buy some more stuff from them because literally you guys, I, I cannot tell you how much I love this stuff. Um, but moving on to the next artist, I bought one thing from this artist and it caught my attention and the thing is when I first, I went, I went one day, I only went to the con for one day, I went on a Saturday and it's usually Friday, Saturday, Sunday, so I went on a Saturday, when I went in there I was at the Starbucks line and I saw this girl holding a JJK tote bag and I thought it was so cute. I didn't ask her, I was too scared to ask where she got it from, but I assumed it wasn't from the con. I just assumed she got it like on Etsy or something or somewhere else. But when the con doors opened for the art of Sally, I saw the bag and I literally, I got so excited. I literally did not has. oh my God. Let me just show it to you guys. It is this blue, chibi, adorable, striped, JJK tote bag with Gojo Nobara 
Megumi, and freaking Itadori. I mean, first of all, I love the design of the opening so much. The opening? The ending. Was it the opening or the ending? Y'all know what I mean. I love the whole aesthetic of it and I'm so in love how it, they translated it into a tote bag and, and into a chibi version. I love this so much. And it's not just a regular tote bag. It's big enough, I think, to fit your MacBook. I haven't used it yet. Kind of scared too, uh, but I will. <laughs> but it has a zipper and it opens up and then it all, it's pretty space, spacious. And then it has a pocket on the inside with another zipper. And yeah, I'm not gonna open it up, but this is so freaking cute, y'all. I mean, come on, y'all. Come on. Oh well. Come on, y'all. This is not the cutest thing ever. So adorable. I'm in love. Um, and that is all that I got. I don't know why I'm folding it. Don't do that. <laughs> and that is all that I got from the artist alley. Now, I only got three things from the dealer's hall and they were from the same booth. There was a Hanako-kun art book I wanna mention that I wanted to get so bad, but it was unwrapped and I think a lot of people were kind of going through it. So I really didn't wanna get the one that everybody was going through and I don't think they had any other one. So <sighs> I didn't get it, but I really want a Hanako-kun art book so bad because the art in that series is literally so I, I, I love it. It's one of my favorites. Anyways, I only got three things from the dealer's haul and it's from the same booth and they're not really, I don't think they're anime related. They're Sanrio related. Um, they are these car air fresheners and they're so freaking adorable. So I have a strawberry one. I mean, look at this packaging, you guys. And then look at it, he's so cute. Um, and then I have a new car scent, scented one of Cody Lakuma. Adorable, freaking adorable. Um, and then I have this lemon scented one of Ri Lakuma, Cody Lakuma, and then I forgot what the bird's name is, but so adorable. I'm in love. So cute. So I recently, I don't know how recent it was to be honest, like a few months ago, I ordered a car. Um, it's, still being, it's still being built, so I thought it looked so cute with these. Oh my God, I don't know which one I'm gonna use first, but I, got, I knew I had to get them. Um, and then I don't know if I'm gonna put this sun catcher on there or not. I don't know, y'all. <laughs> Anyways, um, but yeah, that is pretty much all that I got from the con, I think, I'm pretty sure, oh, no, hold on. Y'all, I don't know how I forgot this, but I got one more thing from the artist, two more things from the artist alley, technically. I got these Reiki and Langa acrylic stands. Oh my goodness, and they go together. They're so freaking cute, y'all, oh my God. And it's like they're doing the infinity sign. I love this art style, it's double-sided. I literally, I love this so much. I don't know how I forgot about this. Even like the base for each one has like this heart pattern, so it's not just a plain base, it's not just a circular base, it's like um, an angled shape or whatever. What is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, an octagon, hexagon, anyways. <laughs> And then same with Reiki, but it's just yellow hearts. I love it so much. I love this art style. I love the whole vibe of this. So cute. I'm so excited for the OVA to come out in season two. Oh my gosh. And the Nendroids to come out. I'm so happy. I'm hoping for scales. But anyways, I already talked about that in my last Dust and Discuss. Uh, but that is all now, I think, I believe, that I got from the Artist Alley or the con in general so thank you guys so much for watching please let me know what you think in the comments below please make sure you like and please subscribe uh and then again like i said i will 
at the artist somewhere in the video or in the description. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in the next video, which is hopefully, hopefully soon. Bye-bye, guys.